science project. Who needs them? What's the use? Everyone's just gonna laugh anyway. Nobody cares. These are terrible ideas. This is getting me nowhere. Philip, do I need to call your father? Turn off the music and go to bed. Mom, I already told you. I need an idea for my science project. It's due on Friday. 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 No, class. It's time to share our science projects. Philip, would you like to be first? Philip, are you listening? We're all waiting. Are you listening to me, Philip? Are you listening to me, young man? Philip. 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 We don't have all afternoon. Bring your report up here. You've known about this as how you for two weeks. I'm in a funk science. Oh, how can anybody study with all that noise? Turn off that music and go to bed.
That's it. Dinosaur. I'll do my report on dinosaurs. It'll be great. They'll go crazy over it. I'm saved. Dinosaurs. What were dinosaurs? How did they get so big? Why? Why? what people wondered for hundreds of years before they discovered that fossils tell us about the Earth's past. Where did they think those big bones came from? They hadn't the slightest idea. So they made up stories and legends about monstrous beasts that might have lived long ago. You mean like dragons and stuff? And Godzilla! So how did people learn about dinosaurs? Before there were books, I mean. The rocks told them. But rocks can't talk. If you listen carefully, the rocks have an awfully lot to say. I still don't get it. The grooves on a record remember a song, right? So does a fossil. The imprints remember a lot about something that used to be there. The whole history of the Earth. I'm beginning to see it. And once people knew what to look for, they found fossils everywhere. What a mess! Where did they start? <laughs> it took a lot of imagination in the beginning. But how can you tell if you're right? Do bones tell about muscles? Or skin? For all you know, dinosaurs had fur coats. Bones do tell how muscles work. You have to think like a detective. Sometimes you get the right answer. Sometimes you'll make a silly mistake, but the truth is magnificent. Wow, they really are beautiful. I mean, there's nothing like them. But they're just bones. Don't you understand? You still don't see them, do you? What were dinosaurs? Where did they come from and why? How dinosaurs get so big? Something made them different. But now they're all gone. Why? It's an amazing story. Long, long ago, a shallow sea filled with plants and animals covered most of the land. Then, about 200 million years ago, the sea dried up, and almost everything died. I get it. There was tons of space for animals to live on land. Exactly. New animals developed. The ancestors of insects and birds and mammals but the greatest of them all were the dinosaurs. No wonder. Would you mess with those guys? I wouldn't. <laughs> no way. Soon, dinosaurs filled the swamps and the plains, the forest and the mountains. Everywhere there was to live. Wow. Dinosaurs.
dinosaurs came in all shapes and sizes. Some were huge, and some were small as pets. Some were fierce, and others were gentle. There were ugly ones, and beautiful ones. Some lived in herds, and some shook the earth when they walked. Some were graceful, and some were terrifying. For 150 million years, they were a world unto themselves. And then what happened? I mean, where did they all go? That secret is still locked inside the rocks and the oceans and the stars. There's still a lot of detective work to do. Go on. Look. Maybe you will find it. Maybe you. Maybe you. Can't wait to tell him everything. terrible lizard. <laughs> Actually, they weren't lizards at all. They were reptiles. <laughs> the largest ones weighed as much as a hundred tons. Say, man, that's heavy. But the smallest dinosaur was not much bigger than a turkey. <laughs> Until recently, scientists believed the dinosaur to be extinct. But now they believe that there is one animal that is directly descended from the mighty dinosaur. Crocodiles. Elephants. Margaret's mother. Birds. Birds. Birds? And it all began with an egg. Unlike the fishes and amphibians before them, the dinosaurs laid their eggs out of the water. When they were born, they were prepared to exploit the land. Did you say exploit? There were tall ones. That's you, Margaret. Short ones. Richard, just shut up. Fat ones. And flat ones. You again, Margaret. Children, come now. Who knows what the dinosaurs eat? Anything <laughs> they wanted. <laughs> yeah, man, in the movies, they eat people. That's so neat. They eat them, man, they just hang out their mouths. Man, they be kicking their legs and everything. It's really cool. Dinosaurs did not eat people. Yeah. Well, that oh. sounds really disappointing. There weren't any people. The last dinosaur died 60 million years before man. And how do you even know they were here? Yeah. Because scientists have found their bones, and they put them all together. They know a lot about them. How big they were, how they moved around, what they ate. They even found dinosaur footprints. 
Uh, sit down, Richard. I'm starving. Uh, did dinosaurs eat? What for lunch? I don't know. Read the lunch menu. Some dinosaurs were herbivores. Now that means that they ate only plants. They were harmless creatures with teeth suitable only for chewing soft plant food. But some dinosaurs had rows and rows of huge teeth. They were the carnivores. Yeah. That means they ate only meat. Jewels, man. Sometimes they ate other dinosaurs. I think I'm gonna be sick. But the largest of the giant dinosaurs was a plant eater. <laughs> the Brachiosaurus was 50 feet tall and slow-witted, with a brain the size of a kitten. It got by with fewer ounces of brain in proportion to its weight than any other backboned animal we know of. Except for Richard. The longest dinosaur measured one-third the length of a football field. That ought to keep everybody in the locker room. <laughs> when he received a message here, it had to travel all the way to its brain. Here. Yeah! And then the message from the brain had to travel all the way back again. That could take as long as a minute. So the Diplodocus had a sort of a helper brain. Here. You want to send away for one of those, Richard? You need some help. The Ankylosaurus was the armored tank of dinosaurs. Like other plant eaters, it moved slowly, and its teeth were only good for chewing plants. <clears throat> but shields of bony plates covered its back, and small ones nearly covered its face. That looked like Margaret's mother. And it carried a tail like a war club. Ow! That hurt! And for my next number, The meanest and most ferocious of the dinosaurs was the meat-eating Tyrannosaurus rex. It had teeth as long and sharp as knives, and it could open its mouth a full four feet. Don't say it, Richard. Its name means Tyrant Lizard King. And when he talked, everybody listened. What happened to them, Philip? They died. <sighs> of what? That is a mystery. There are many theories regarding the extinction of the dinosaur, but no one knows for sure what happened. Next. A change in climate may have been responsible. Vast areas of dinosaur country cooled, and perhaps the dinosaur couldn't adapt. They were too big to burrow into the ground, and too bulky to move to a warmer climate. Why don't we move Philip to a warmer climate? How about the furnace room? <laughs> Some people believe that growing numbers of mammals were eating the dinosaur eggs so that fewer and fewer of them were hatched. Awesome bird brain! Changes in the Earth's surface may have endangered the dinosaur as well. Mountains were pushed up and swampy lands turned into desert. With fewer plants to eat, the plant-eating dinosaurs became fewer. And cool. And the plant-eating dinosaurs had been food for the meat-eating dinosaurs. What a drag. So then, there were fewer meat-eating dinosaurs. I don't want to die! Shut up! <laughs> and that's not all. Some scientists think the rays from an exploding star... about it. 200 million years ago. The Jurassic period. Wow. The land was covered with thick forests of conifers and giant ferns. There were marshes and bayous everywhere. It was warm then, almost tropical. Jeez. This was the home of the dinosaur. He was everywhere for a hundred million years, eating and fighting. I mean, we were nowhere then, man. Those guys ruled the earth. Do you know that?
that they found a shoulder blade of a dinosaur that's taller than the man who found it? A shoulder blade, man. Do you know how big that is? They call him Supersaurus. And he was as big as 15 African bull elephants. Wow, man. I mean, nobody messed with him. Would you mess with a guy that eats pine trees for lunch? <laughs> Jeez, no, you wouldn't. I don't care what you think you'd say to a dinosaur if he was right here. Hey, man, that's my pine tree. Don't eat that pine tree off on my lawyer. <laughs> hey, no way. You don't say nothing. You just be as quiet as a mouse, M-O-U-S-E. It's nature's way. 
For after the dinosaur died, the mammals had a chance to develop. And the mammals have a superior brain by far, if I do say so myself. Are you going to give another report tomorrow? Oh, we'll see, Barbara. We'll see. <laughs>